Hunter x Hunter, episode 66. Oh yeah, show me the clue adventure. Trust no one. Oh, are we actually gonna get it? Give me the whole thing into my veins. Strategy X and X scheme. This could be the subtitle of every Hunter x Hunter episode. Much more normal looking crew than the first time. Get the hell out of here. I should have known. How embarrassing. And these guys are just laxative drinks. Oh, oh, Tampa. I mean, I don't know. Tampa's living his life. Oh, some familiar faces. But do you know, you don't even know Nen. The hell out of here. Oh, we got different examiners. Wow, well, like, only 10 of them will make it through the running anyway. Oh, it's, uh, what's her name? What about, like, a uh, computer guy? Computer kid? Just gave up? Yes, I was unaware. I now know. I have realized the errors of my ways. <laughs> No, don't take him out. The only one. <laughs> well, speaking of creating artificial difficulty. Yeah, you're not about this life. It's all right. Did he just eliminate everyone in the first round? <laughs> oh my god. And our last applicant. Do we even continue at this point? It took him longer to pick up the tags off the floor than it did to knock them all out. Well, I guess we saw the whole exam work. That was a quick one. I mean, I knew it was going to be a breeze. I didn't know it was going to be that much of a breeze. It doesn't even feel good. <laughs> it doesn't even feel as good as the first time. It's too easy. I got my laminated piece of cardboard. Wow, remember when that was like the the measure of your your power? Now it's just a tutorial. <laughs> I'm sorry, that's hilarious. <laughs> I was expecting this whole thing. I was like, well, I wonder what deviousness they they got up to this time in the planning stages of the exam. You catch up with the uh, the crew that are all dead. You're gonna see a lot of blacked out names. Wait, what? What is he disguised? Krolo's here? He can... oh. oh, yeah. They both get abused this episode. Oh, they got back so fast. And reunited? I mean, it couldn't have possibly been the last we saw of Krolo. Go east. Yeah, that was the fortune. Jonenshi,グリードアイランド内にいる。またもくてきが変わっちまったな。他の連中も呼び寄せようぜ。そうだな。総力でジョネンシを。And Oh my god, of course he's here. <laughs> oh, he's gonna make Honest evil. This could just... Walking right in front of them. Always has some kind of edge. Yeah, he's gonna evil you're happy keeping around. That's great. And it's something Hisoku would want. Yeah, yeah, that's what Biscuit said. Right. We did our duty. Good friends. How's mob life going? Speaking of the the weak taking out the strong or the strong taking out the weak, Kirby could just like muscle this guy out. His weakness. This is this is a power vacuum. Where is Neon? She's alive, but step out of it. Act like a man. Oh, she's okay, but 
she can't use it. If Crow is using a power, does that mean the other person can't use it? Yeah, you, you had to tell her. Tell him. Yeah, that would have weighed on them the whole time if they had not done that. Man, they just came in here and crushed this game thanks to Biscuit. Hitting things real hard is something I know a lot about. Structural damage, my true skill. Gon cares more about nature than he does about human life. Wait, what? A girl who releases golden dust in the bath. So he just turned that girl into a card? They're speedrunning it. I also didn't understand it because I couldn't read it fast enough. Oh, let's reflect. Oh, oh my god. Oh, this is overwhelming. <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh my god. Oh my god. Please help me. Here we go. <laughs> it's that time of the episode. Memory helmet, seduction potion, gambling ability a la Kate Sith, or selfie. At this point feels like they're in the end game. They're just like grinding for all the best gear. They're going to be so overpowered for the last boss. Then they're going to complain that the game is too easy. That's what I'm saying. This came up in a comment thread. Speaking of like complaining about games, one thing I've seen is people will say games are too easy, but a lot of times those are the people that were grinding for 40 hours and read the guides about the best gear, etc. You can adjust the difficulty curve yourself in games to your liking. It's not a design flaw a lot of the time. カオパス回数券だ。仲間と相談して構わないぜ。どうする Wow, there's a lot of reading. There's a lot of this, this episode. Oh, this is the secret optional area with the, the overleveled enemies for grinding and the special equipment. Desolate location. Why is that S? And why am I so invested in the, the game? Oh, that's cool. I want the palm top dragon. Right. Yeah. Or, I mean, they have a very specific plan. This Greed Island arc is suddenly moving too fast. Too much progress. Yeah, I mean, every game has to have a gambling area. There's gotta be a hack. It's a game. There's an ex exploit. Oh, yeah. I don't know. 19 out of 20 seems like good odds. Oh, they keep using it. There's a couple more times. Famous last words. He, did he die? He, he died. Whoops, there's the stakes. There's the risk. <laughs> then the evidence is right next to him. Slightly ahead of his outreach to fingers. It's possible. Getting someone else to do it is deviously genius. There you go. It's all good. Someone's gonna get it though. This should be automatic. 
Even with the luck enhancer. Probability is an odd one. There are a lot of probability paradoxes, and I think some of the confusion comes down to the fact that probability, it's not real, or it doesn't have as much reality as we think it does. Events are actually probably are like one or zero. Probability is a measure of the things we don't know, but us not knowing about the outcome doesn't mean there isn't going to be a definite outcome. It seems to be implying that the, the users are sharing luck. If one person keeps rolling the lucky side, that increases another person's chance of getting the unlucky side. And maybe that's possible due to some rule of the game or some use of NAN, but it doesn't actually work that way in real life. It's like people who can't buy the roulette table waiting for six reds in a row and then betting on black. Each roll is discrete and it's going to be red or black regardless of previous iterations, future iterations. It will depend exactly on how the ball is spun in that moment because we can't calculate that route on each iteration, though I'm sure many people have tried. We give it probability which is like our measure of the unknown. I think you can see this pretty clearly in the, the famous Monty Hall paradox. There's three doors and you're told the prize is behind one of the doors and then one of the empty doors is revealed and you're given the choice to stay with the door you picked or switch and the argument is that you should always switch because the door you chose had a one-third probability of being correct and the other two had a 66% chance of being correct and now you've eliminated one of them and the remaining door now still has a 66% chance of being correct. And it feels like a weird hack or magic or paradox, but it's actually not. Like in that situation, which door the prize is behind has already been established. All of the doors are one or zero. The percentage applies to our guesses, not the reality. The reason the probability changes in that situation is because you have unlocked new information. The probability does not reflect the reality. It reflects our guesses about the reality given unknown. But yes, continuing to roll it is dangerous. Yeah, yeah, but so Tax director's gauntlet. That's about as much fun as the monopoly property tax. That's a depressing one. Somebody. Your odds remain the same at 1 in 20. On thinking, just went for it. It's fine. I'd do it too. Can't avoid risk or gambles. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Oh no, he's getting addicted to the casino or to the dice roll. Kalua's gambling problem arc. No, it's going too fast. I want to stay in Green Island for a thousand episodes. It was like yesterday we were rookies, and now we're heading for the final boss. I love how Kalua beating the Hunter exam was a subplot of this episode. <laughs> Think of all the thousand applicants who worked that hard to get that far, only to be taken out by Kalua in the first, in the waiting room. They didn't even have a chance to be let off a cliff by forest spirits or jump into cliff spider webs. You know, thinking about it that way, Kalua actually just saved a lot of lives. Yeah, use this G rank. There it is. Yeah, I agree with the comments I've seen. Why is this not a game? It's already made. The author did all the hard work. Why did someone not take this and make it? I guess the silver lining is I bet the end game of this arc will be insane because Gold and Clue are strong as hell now, but then you have the villain, the bomber, and then you have the Phantom True. We spent a lot of time building the infrastructure of this arc, but there's a lot of crazy things that could happen from here on out.